Astronauts to the moon. <laughs> What's going on everyone? It's Jaronism here with another video for you today. Yep, a special fraud alert. You know, gotta warn the others. Make sure you know where they're deceiving you next. So you can see on the screen here, this was me earlier today. You can tell I wasn't very pleased with the newest hoax, the newest joke, the new scam or deception that's been placed on us because, well, you know, we believed in historians and Trusted our teachers and what fools we were, huh? Believed in science. Well, phony henge is a fake. It's a fraud. <laughs> yeah, another joke at our expense. Ha ha ha. See, the difference is, I'm kind of starting to get pissed. Not sure why these clowns think that making stuff up is so funny. But I think it is nothing but an obvious sign that these guys are insecure. They're pathetic. See, when you can't beat people mano a mano, you know, face to face, you cheat. You use GoPro cameras and you invent forces and you make up timelines and rules as you go along. You do every little thing you can to get an edge because you can't win fair and square. So you lie. You cheat. You steal. But I'll give you a little hint. You lose, jackasses. You will lose. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. And that was in honor of one of the all-time greats, Roddy Roddy Piper. Rest in peace. So, I do have a little treat for all you. Something many of you thought took place 5,000 years ago didn't. And so, now you get to see it take place right before your very eyes thanks to the magic of photography. So you'll get to watch this great monolith, the pride of all mankind, be built right before your eyes. Now, some of you may say or may hear that this was part of a great reconstruction in the early 1900s or mid-1900s. So as I always say, don't believe me. Please don't believe me. Open your mind, watch this video, and then you tell me. Tell me if this was a restoration. Name another structure of antiquity that we just move around with cranes and ropes and build new pieces with concrete. It's a hoax. It's been there for maybe a hundred years. And you're about to see that. Now, Carl Sagan once said, science is more than a body of knowledge. It's a way of thinking, a way of skeptically interrogating the universe, which is what we're going to do today and every day going forward. Neil deGrasse Tyson said, to be scientifically literate is to empower yourself to know when someone else is full of bullshit. Ladies and gentlemen, the person on your screen right now is full of bullshit. Plain and simple, cut and dry, guy's a fraud. Ladies and gentlemen, the guy on your screen right now is full of bullshit. He is a fraud through and through, up and down, left and right. In fact, let's show him twice. He's that big of a fraud. You ain't going to Mars. Why don't you start at the moon, dipshit? I found a moon rock in my nose. This guy, well, flowing locks. You know exactly how I feel about him. Another fraud. And Neil gave me permission. He said, the great thing about being scientific is we can stare a fraud, like the one in front of you, in the face Know it when we see it. Call it out. Another fraud. Oh, then sometimes there's the king of all frauds. And as you see him here, walking around looking at this funny joke. <laughs> Look at this thing behind me. People think this thing was built 5,000 years ago. What a joke. Yeah, because it's about 100 years old. Honestly, we should have seen this one coming. I mean, whenever there is... A, a pathetic worship of the sun, or B, a pathetic, fearful hate of God, or C, 
any story that no one can explain, like, oh, wow, for years, science has wondered how we got those real big rocks on top of there. Uh, a crane. That's how. Oh, boy, thanks a lot, science. You ever notice things don't fall when you want them to? Anyway. But if those any of those elements are there, it's the pathetic Freemasons. You should just chalk that one up now. So, pyramids in my book, as of right now, 100 years old, built with cranes by a bunch of nobodies. So, right here you can see in the red circle is where I started to see a problem. So I went to Google Earth and found a little 360 image. Zoomed in, and that's when I realized, uh, those rocks are fake. They're hollowed out and made very light. So you'll notice clearly that they want us to think that these ancients were smarter, that they were stronger, that they were just as in touch and in love with the sun as they are. But it's all a lie. It's all a hoax. It's all a farce. But let's see what uh, Wikipedia has to say about Stonehenge. So Stonehenge is a prehistoric <laughs> monument located in Wiltshire, England, about two miles west of Amesbury and eight miles north of Salisbury. One of the most famous sites in the world, Stonehenge, is the remains of a ring of standing stones set within earthworks. It is in the middle of the most dense complex of Neolithic and Bronze Age monuments in England, uh -huh. including several hundred burial mounds. Archaeologists believe it was built anywhere from 3000 BC to 2000 BC. Uh -huh. Radiocarbon dating in 2008 suggested uh -huh. that the first stones were raised between 2400 and 2200 BC, uh -huh. while another theory suggests that blue stones may have been raised at the site as early as 3000 BC. Uh -huh. It's like scum, Nazi filth, trash, garbage, maggots. Let's talk about this. Okay, so it's not prehistoric, unless we are calling the first airplane prehistoric. They've been around about the same amount of time. Second, it's located on a military base, so it is guarded 100% of the time and it lies in a closed off area, you or I can't even go near it. It's guarded by the military, which is just more brainwashing and stupid propaganda. So it's just a ring of fake stones, concocted megalithic stones, and it is not in the most dense complex of any fake Bronze Age that they've made up. Speaking of making shit up, archaeologists believe, yes, you heard that right, believe, I thought science didn't do belief, well, they think 3000 BC to 2000 BC. Nice. I think the Empire State Building was built between 1000 AD and 2000 AD. Am I an archaeologist now? Radiocarbon dating. Ha! Radi radiocarbon dating in 2008 suggested the first stones were raised between 2400 and 2200 BC. Radiocarbon dating now is dating human raisings of stones? Or are they dating the rocks themselves? And if they're dating the rocks, shouldn't they be 3 billion years old? This is some horse shit. Then it says, another theory. So now we've had archaeologists who have tuned in, said what they believe, and radiocarbon dating, but we have to have another theory. What the hell is science? It's just a bunch of losers guessing and Neil deGrasse's blimp head at the top of it all. So now we got this girl. She's just celebrating because she found out that this, just like all the rest of it, is a bunch of horse shit. Stonehenge, the joke. Phony Henge. Now you'll see here just some people sitting around when they finally let people near it. And that's a GoPro camera, Globe Earthers. Don't try and tell me that there's curves in those rocks. Nice try. You guys just love your curves, but sorry. That's an effect of the camera. Back to the site of Stone Hoax. You'll see that, just like us humans do so well, we've left the party much better than we found it. That is a great little bash we've had there at the huge monolithic monstrosity of a fraud. Perpetrated again by the Masons, I'm sure. I mean, what would happen if we didn't worship the sun for a day, can you imagine? So, up next I'm going to let you watch all the pictures as they build the 5,000 year old structure, which is really only 100 years old.
Now you see these pictures that you can find on Wikipedia, which are total hoaxes, clear farces. Here you see a Old West type picture with the Clydesdale and the wagon wheels not even on the road. Here you've got some military men with the Stonehenge in the background with sticks propping it up. Not really sure what year that was. And here you've got a drawing that they say is from 1600s, but you can bet it's from one of the Mason's grandkids who drew some little crayon drawing. And if you want to build your own Stonehenge, it's really easy. You can take a tablespoon of olive oil and a half cup to three quarter cups of lukewarm water, mix it with some flour, or you can just buy Plato's brand new set, Ancient Structures, How to Build Pyramids, Stonehenge, and the Sphinx, the same way the Masons did by faking it with Play-Doh. There you see a nice little rendition. I think that's pretty good. I actually think it's better than the original. Probably weighs about as much. Pretty nice. So if you guys want to make your own, I would love to see some versions. Uh, here you go. Enjoy these photos of your 5,000 year old structure being built right before your eyes due to the magic of photography.
Well, there you have it. It's official. I'm a Stonehenge denier. I mean, there's absolutely no way that that is a restoration project. I mean, we're talking about an ancient 5,000-year-old rock structure that is aligned astronomically. And it, they're using cranes and backhoes and kids and concrete to make new blocks. I mean, it's just a joke. Get real. Wake up. It just is a hoax. We have to face it. I mean, first of all, you can't date rocks. You just can't date rocks. It's, there's nothing else to say. I mean, don't trust me. Do your own research. But in my mind, science has one goal, and just one goal, and that's to be the opposite of God. That is the very point of science. So it's up to us to stand up and tell these clowns, no more. You're done. I mean, if the poor son could speak for itself, believe me, it'd be at the courthouse tomorrow getting a restraining order against those little boys like, dude, lay off, guys. You're just coming on a little strong here. I mean, to me, it's like science has one point, and the very point of science is to be at opposition of God. Not that sometimes they end up in opposition. That is the point. Look at the Big Bang. It gets rid of creation. Look at heliocentricity. It gets rid of the important Earth. I mean, do you need more evidence than the fact that they named the sun, sun, and the child of a man, a son, so they got their Sunday, and now they get to be a nemesis with God's son because they worship God's son, just the other one. It's such a joke. This is what they want. This is their whole goal to get off on this. And I mean, come on, radiocarbon dating my ass. Dating rocks by radioactivity, by measuring... They could have changed a thousand years ago, five thousand years ago. I mean, we don't know how long it's been around. Do you know the oldest tree is 4,800 years old? But their rocks say billions. Rocks. Get it? As in, if you believe that, that's what your head is full of. Rocks. You cannot believe that they can date rocks. It's such a joke. But you know what? They've convinced everyone. 4.54 billion years. Even those that are God believers now believe that the earth is billions of years old. They just go against their Bible that they bank everything on just because they don't want to look silly to these clowns at science. It's all a hoax, guys. A dark age here, mixing a bronze age here, a megalithic structure here, a pyramid here. And look what you got. You have to be deaf, dumb, and blind to think that this earth that we live in only has 6,000 years of existence. It just doesn't. There's no question that there were dinosaurs. There's no question that radiocarbon dating, there were 65 million. There's no question that some of the other things were much older than that, and we have so many geological records. To deny the clear record that's there before us makes us look silly. And you got the old earth, new earth. There's no way that all this that you have here took place in 6,000 years. It just couldn't have been done. It couldn't possibly have been done. There's, there's no way. It just isn't possible. To think of the absolutely insane things that Pat has said during his 700 plus years on earth, that he can't even dare think that the earth might possibly be younger than what we think. Because he doesn't want to get made fun of. Real powerful God you got there, Pat. Remember that uh, just a few months ago you said that gays were sent by God to punish the USA because they were going to hell anyway. So I'm sure you got that from your book, right? So I don't get it. You have a chance to hate on other humans, and then you'll subscribe to the letter of your book. But if you're afraid to be made fun of by science, then you decide to throw the book out the window? Why don't you try this? There's no way God hates gays. Isn't that better? Think of it. Rather than there's no way the earth is that old. I don't know. Just seems like one makes nobody happy and the other makes the world a better place. Jeez, you think you'd figure that out like in your four or five hundreds? I don't know how it works once you get up there. So, But congratulations anyway on the 700. That's like way past God's limit of 120. So you're doing something right. Jeez. Okay, so stay tuned. We're getting the balloon details together for time to launch on September 28th. So if you've emailed me and I haven't got back to you, just hold on a few more days. We're getting the last thing's details together, so that'll be out soon. And then we'll be presenting that for you. 
besides that, not much else going on. So, thanks for watching. This has been Jaronism, reminding you all to treat each other kindly. Don't lie to each other. Treat everybody else better than you yourself would want to be treated. And remember to open up your mind, because there is truth inside. One more thing, because it's on my mind. The sad thing is that the very people pushing this materialistic agenda are the secret society members themselves, the damn Masons. And they're trying to maintain an opposite point of view. Behind closed doors, they're using the exact principle of non-material knowledge to control and manipulate the entire masses in the first place. I mean, these losers think they're better than us. They stole the knowledge, and then they hid it. Tell you what, if you've cheated on your wife, or cheated on your girlfriend, and you feel sorry, that's one thing. But if you've cheated on your wife, and cheated on your girlfriend, and you're giddy about it, and you feel you're cool because you got away with it, and you hide truth, and exploit it for your own personal gain, then you're an Aldrin, straight up. Their theories are 100% pure bullshit, from space to even worse, evolution. They say that if you had an infinite number of chimps on an infinite number of typewriters, typing infinitely, that eventually one of those chimps would write a Shakespearean play. Shut the F up. Come on, people, we need to use our heads here. Think. All you would get is an infinite bunch of crap. I don't care how long infinity is. They would never write a Shakespearean play. They're playing with your minds the same thing they do with these stupid star distances. It's a joke. I mean, how long, if evolution was going on, do you think it would take till a chimpanzee could manufacture, create, build, and fly a jetliner on Earth from one side of the world to the other with 200 chips aboard? How long? If your answer is anything less than never, then you're very confused. Humans are special. Chimps are a pretty cool animal with high intelligence. I mean, it's just ridiculous that they keep teaching this in schools, putting it in books, calling it fact. I mean, what, what I don't get is they should realize they don't have a right to fuck with other people's lives. If you want to have a relationship with the same sex? Go ahead. If you want to eat meat or be a vegan? Go ahead. Do it. You want to continue your pregnancy? Fantastic. You want to end it? It's your choice. You want to inject yourself with heroin every single day? Enjoy yourself. The difference is, you don't have a right to fuck with others' lives. And that's what the Masons and NASA and scientists do every single day, and I've had enough. I mean, by making us continually worship their stupid son, not only do we lose faith in anything beyond the material, we actually gain faith into their material world where it's all about status. It's all selfishness, hedonism, consumerism. If there's no God, well, we're all accidental, right? I mean, that's what science says. The rich and powerful oil-hungry sun cult logos of the world are all over TV and every billboard. They sell us their human idols while taking over the world as we believe in their science we vote their politicians into office, we buy their products, we listen to their artists, we are feeding our children and ourselves their products, I mean, we listen to their radio personalities, we watch their controlled media, we debate the issues that they give us to debate, I mean, we watch their movies, it is sad because we are selling our souls and the souls of our children down the drain. Not on my watch. Till next time, guys. This is Jaronism. Peace.